Okay, well, listen, my wife and I decided to go check out something. I can't really talk about what the something is, but it's something cool. And we just got outside. You know, it's amazing to me if uh, you've never been in Michigan. So for those of you watching not from Michigan, uh, Michigan is a crazy fickle weather state. Uh, the news was calling for five inches of snow last night. And I'm literally walking around thinking I could take off this hoodie and I'd be absolutely fine. So I'm actually walking um, outside on this little nature path at a place where I hope I get to spend more time in my future. And I think we probably will, but uh, basically just, you know, keep in your thoughts and in your prayers a place that we can hang out. So this is kind of cool. I love getting out into nature and exploring a little bit and seeing, as I'm showing you behind me, um, things that are pristine and beautiful and interesting and hold character like, well, like this tree here. So I wanna talk about this tree. This tree has character. Look how thick uh, these channels are. Forgive me, I'm not a tree doctor on this tree, but look up at this tree. Look how high this guy goes. Um, and this tree has obtained its character uh, through the years. And you only get character through storms and through trials and through droughts and through warm seasons and cold seasons. And basically it takes ups and downs to build character in your life. And not unlike this tree, you and I gain character through the trials of our life. I'm sure that there have been many storms that have blown through here, flooded seasons, dry seasons. I don't know how old this tree is, but I would have to imagine it's fairly old. And it has gotten to the stature that it has through surviving all of those seasons in its life, from hot to cold to warm to lukewarm to hot to cold. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because I uh, wanted to, for a while on this channel, talk about character and character building. Your character is built and forged, I should say, over the span of time. As that character continues to be developed and you continue to face new seasons in your life, you end up developing the capabilities, the abilities, um, and, well, the knowledge to do the things you need to do in life. So, why am I saying all this? I've met some people recently in my life who are frustrated with the fact that they haven't obtained a specific level in their life. And, and recently I have been frustrated that I haven't obtained specific levels in my life. And what I have come to realize just in the last couple of weeks as I've been mulling over this whole character topic to talk to you guys about is, it takes time and it takes a specific amount of time, a specific number of seasons in order to develop character that actually impacts and drives good things in your life. Uh, my wife and I's marriage, we've been married for 20 plus years. We've been together for 25 years. We can finish each other's sentences and we can annoy each other in a split second. We have built the character of our marriage over a long period of time. Some people would argue that building that character would in some ways um, be frustrating and irritating. And some people might even actually try to bail on continuing to build that character. I've actually seen marriages absolve because the men in the family or the men in the, the relationship are just tired of struggling through trying to get the attention of their wife or wives are struggling through, through trying to get the attention of their husband. A well-seasoned marriage with two people who are engaged in understanding the character building of the other will lead to a very beautiful relationship. It'll still have its ups, it'll still have its downs, it'll still be cold, it'll still be hot, it'll still be lukewarm, it'll still be warm, but um, it will be a well-seasoned marriage with character. And so you, whether you're married, you're not married, you're engaged, you're not engaged, you're in a relationship, you're not in a relationship, you are on a character building journey called your life. And my question to you today, same question for myself, is what am I doing to ensure that I'm actually building 
character. Let me say that one more time. What am I doing to actually build character in my life? I think I have a bug on my forehead. What am I, do <laughs> what am I doing to actually build character in my life? What things am I allowing to happen versus what things am I trying to stop from happening? Um, it's kind of like this, this dam right here. This dam that you're seeing um, was built by a beaver, I assume, over time, piling up wood, creating this character of a place where they can go and they can, they can, they can live, uh, and, and it looks like a twisted mess, but that character has purpose. Your life sometimes feel like it's, feels like it's a twisted mess, but it has purpose, and it has a meaning, and you just need to be willing to accept whatever that meaning is. Okay, so that's it for today. I'm going to actually wrap this up. Wrap, wrap this up. Wrap, 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 wrap, wrap this up.